This is what we've been waiting for. The eggs. Wow. One after another. Pure satisfaction. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We just got into Mumbai, India. True street food heaven. And I'm so pumped because today we're going to be going for a full on street food adventure. Let's check it out. This is it Mumbai, the food capital of India. You can come here solely to eat. And if you come during the Ramadan season, you'll find even more unique street food and spice packed delicacies on every street corner. And if you love true spice and bold flavors, get ready. Cause today we're going for a full on Mumbai street food tour and roaming late at night at Mumbai's most famous food street for a Ramadan only special dessert. Let's eat. This is magical guys. We're in Mumbai exploring and taking the train today for tons of delicious food. What an amazing experience this is. First up, we're visiting a local scrambled eggs master who makes the world's biggest scrambled eggs with 400 eggs, Indian style, with tomatoes, onions, tons of spices and fresh chilies. There's nothing better. All right guys, right up here is a famous scrambled eggs Mumbai scrambled eggs and it's supposed to be just massive. We're gonna take a look. Hey, Baya. Oh, Piaz. Oh, for the burji. Oh, and tomato. We're just chopping a ton here. This is all gonna be going into the omelet. So we got tomato and piaz, onions, and we're chopping up coriander as well. So we're a little early and gonna watch the chopping in anticipation for this big scrambled eggs. We got coriander. We got capsicum, green bell peppers, and cabbage here. And this is just gonna be gigantic. And look at this, we got fresh green chili. And we're gonna chop those up. Half the fun of coming here was watching the superhuman cutting speed and knife skills. But that was just the beginning. After preparing all of the ingredients, we began to make the scrambled eggs. Oh, and look at this, tons of oil. Ghee, oil, oil. Look at all that oil. These are all the eggs. And all in, all in. Oh, we're gonna put them all in. It's big. Yeah, amazing. This is gonna be the biggest scrambled omelet, scrambled egg in the world. Oh, and here come the tomatoes. Look at that. Oh, it's a mountain of onions and tomatoes. And he's just gonna mix that up. Oh, salt. Tons of salt in there. Oh, and he's just putting tons of salt, chili, Look at all of those bright spices. Masala. All the masala, chili, and salt, and tomato. And we're just gonna mix it up. And what is so nice is the aroma, the sweetness of those onions. And I can't wait to see all of these eggs. 400 eggs go onto this pile. And we're gonna eat it in a bun, and it's gonna be perfect with all that masala and spice. Here we go, guys, this is the moment. This is what we've been waiting for. The eggs, wow, one after another. Pure satisfaction watching all of these eggs go in. He just keeps going, nonstop. It's like a volcano. It's like a, a hot tub. It's a scrambled egg jacuzzi. just getting so thick here. Scrambled egg, the bougie. And it's really hot, this is hard work. Oh, and look at that. Look at them slowly getting cooked. And we're taking the outer layers of this tomato and onion and mixing it in. Oh yeah, pushing the perimeter in now. The world's biggest <laughs> scrambled egg. Oh, try, okay. Oh, it's heavy. All those eggs. That is a ton of protein. And oh, heavy, full of energy and nutrition and masala. And this is a real skill. As you can see, I'm the noob here. Thank you, Baya. Wow, and it's all going in, into the big pot, into the bowl. Look at all those eggs. 
and after watching another massive scrambled eggs being made, the real magic began. With the adding of tons of butter and chili to infuse into the scrambled eggs and serve with a soft bun. And we're gonna add tons of chili in now too, green chili, right into the butter. Oh. That is gonna spice it up. A Little bit of salt, perfect. Look at that, chili, tons of chili, garam masala, it's all in there. Oh yeah. And we're just pushing it all in now. Thank you. Oh, covered in coriander. Look what we got here. Look at this. We've got the ultimate burgee here. That's incredible. So it's full of tomatoes, full of onions. Actually, I think it's gonna be really spicy. He put tons of fresh green chilies in there, garnish it with coriander. We got red chili and garam masala. Classic Indian spices here. And then we've got classic Mumbai pal here. So the Mumbai bun. And we're just gonna, oh yeah, load that up. Get a nice and plump one. All that coriander, all of that onion, all of that creamy butter. Oh, look at that. That looks incredible. All that butter. Amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. It's actually very spicy. There's tons of green chili in there and buttery. And there's actually a bit of a sweetness from the onion as well. But that is a definitely a, the spiciest omelet you'll ever eat right here from all of those fresh green chilies. It's burning the minute it hits your tongue. And the butter. Wow. Mm. Next up, we found a local man selling street breakfast right from his bicycle. The classic South Indian snack from Tamil Nadu, the idli vada. Rice cakes and legumes donuts served with lentil stew and coconut chutney. The perfect breakfast to start your day. Awesome. And we are going to have more breakfast here right on a bike. Beautiful. Oh, bye. Oh, Idli Vada. This is Idli Vada. Mix on a bike. <laughs> Look at this. So basically, Idli here, these Sambar. rice puffs covered in a coconut chutney and the Vada donut. Sambar. sambar, okay. And this is Sambar. More of that, oh, beautiful lentil stew. Oh, and coconut chutney. Amazing. Thank you, Baya. <laughs> Great. Wow. The Mumbai Vara. <laughs> right on a bike. <laughs> Let's try it out. <laughs> so it's basically just a rice puff covered in that coconut chutney and the sambar. Let's try it out. Mmm. Whoa. Whoa. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> wow, and people are so friendly here. It basically. It has this rich, complex, almost like from the field flavor. Even though it's rice, it actually kind of tastes almost like wheat in a way, with a slightly spicy, beautiful sambar and that coconut chutney. The coconut itself isn't sweet at all. It's more of a plain coconut flavor. Mmm, really nice. Mmm. Thank you, Baya. Very delicious. <laughs> really nice here in Mumbai. Next stop, before going for a massive seafood feast and then making our way to the largest street food area in Mumbai for Ramadan, we went for an early lunch at a place famous for puri, tons of different healthy curries, and their mango stew. The sweetest, most enjoyable mango sauce you'll ever taste. It's so great to be exploring the streets of Mumbai. And next up, guys, we're gonna go for Amras Puri. Right up here, there's a famous Am, which is mango chutney with puri and you can also get a ton of other gravies with it as well let's go try it out and we're hanging with the cows here too so we're gonna order the amras puri mixed mango chutney and a bunch of other gravies as well and you can see we're just putting in these beautiful flattened dough sheets and then they puff up and turn into the classic puri and look at the specialties here we've got pink puri which is beetroot puri and the green one is spinach and fenugreek and you can see they're just throwing them deep into this wok oh yes and here it is guys curries of your dreams curry scooping action so many varieties 
This is what it's all about right here. And look at this, guys. Now we are scooping the platters of puri and all the different curries we've got. Their specialty is the mango, and that is what we're going to be trying along with a puri platter, five different types of puri. Oh, this is amazing. India is just full of spice and flavor, and there's nothing better. Wow. Here we go. Shukriya, shukriya. That is just incredible. Look at the color. Oh. Shukriya. Wow. So this is ripe mango chutney. Look at how colorful that is. And then we've got five mixed puris here. We've got plain. We have a paneer. We have a spinach and fenugreek. We have a beet root, and then we have a masala. And you can just dip that right into the mango chutney. And then look at this amazing platter of flavor and joy. This here is a beautiful, basically like a chaat. It's like a, a wheat crisp, a wheat puff with a yogurt and tamarind chutney with some different spices. And then this is the kidney bean curry. And then we've also got a paneer and pea. And this is the kadi, which is like a pakora and it's a sour curry. And then we've got a beautiful potato curry and a chole, basically a chickpea curry with some ladyfinger and potato. And then a beautiful gulab jamon, which is basically like a deep fried dough ball covered in a rose and saffron syrup. And of course, beautiful puris. And I really just want to go for this amazing paneer puri. Looks like there's some chili in there and we're just gonna dip it right into that amazing, oh yes, mango gravy. The king of mango, Alfonso mango. And we're gonna try that right out. Mm. Oh wow. That is the most flavorful mango of your dreams. Really, it actually tastes like a mango smoothie. It's just like a pure mango gravy. It tastes almost like a candy. And then look at this beautiful platter we've got here. And we're just gonna go right in for that beautiful paneer and pea gravy. Oh yes, this is the land of flavor. This is the path to happiness. Mm. Oh yeah. That is just so flavorful. It's like the most wholesome paneer and pea gravy you can dream of. And with the puri. These guys are the puri masters. You just feel so wholesome and healthy. And there's a lot of spices in there and a lot of seeds. And this is just one of so many different varieties of flavor to choose here. Mm. And you just can't get enough of that. If you visit India, there's nothing better than a plate full of different flavors. Wow, shukriya. It's very tasty. And after trying out the huge variety of healthy and wholesome vegetarian curries and saying thanks to the owner, we made our way for perhaps the best seafood meal you'll ever eat. All right, guys. Next up, we are in an old area of Mumbai, South Mumbai, and right up here, there's a famous seafood joint. We're gonna have some amazing Mumbai seafood right up here at Trishna's. Let's go try it out. Hi, how are you? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, look at this. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Wow, we're excited to try the seafood here. This is just amazing. We're gonna have some real seafood here. Oh, wow. that's huge. What type is this? Mud crab. Mud crab. Mud crab. And what should we get it cooked in? Butter? Butter, garlic. Butter, garlic. Okay. Let's get this one. Look at the size of that mud crab. Look at the claws on that. That is huge. In butter, garlic, right? Butter, garlic. Wow. So we're gonna get that mud crab and butter garlic. Say, say, say hello. Yeah. Wish you <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> yeah. On the table. On the table. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. And this is the lobster. <laughs> so we got lobster and jumbo prawn. So jumbo prawn is in the lobster. Wow. And mud crab. <laughs> That's amazing. And after ordering up the lobster with a chetanad spicy and creamy coconut sauce and the jumbo prawn and mint and coriander, the seafood all arrived on the table covered in delicious sauces, ready to eat bite after bite of juicy flavor packed joy. Look at that. Wow. Butter garlic crab. That is huge. 
massive, covered in garlic. No, 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 I'll keep over here. I'll get the prawns and all that. Get the prawns. Oh, yeah, that's the lobster. The lobster. Lobster chatina. Lobster chatina. Yes. In a curry. It's yes. got a gravy, rich it's gravy. A gravy rich. Wow. That's That's really so oh. And the, this is the tiger prawn. Man. The tiger prawns. Yeah. The Hariyali one. Hariyali oh. with the green spice. Green spice. Yes. Green and Korean and green chili. Okay. Look at the size of all of this seafood. Wow. Just look at the size of this giant mud crab. Look at the claws on there. Oh. That is the biggest claw I've ever seen. Look at. Oh. Look at the flesh on that claw drizzled in garlic and butter. Oh, and you can just see, oh, it's dripping out. And that is amazing. And then we've got a beautiful lobster over here as well. Oh, so all of the flesh has been scooped out and fried in a rich, dark curry. And then of course, these beautiful prawns. Oh, the rice. Appam. Appam. So it's like a steamed rice flour. Steamed rice Oh, amazing. Thank you. Look at the size of that claw drizzled in garlic and butter. It's just giant. Oh, and the flesh is just bulging out. Let's try it out. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh. That is insane. Wow. That is just the most succulent, garlicky, buttery flesh. Oh, it just pops in your mouth. I just had the biggest bite of crab meat I've ever had. It was just like a huge ball of juicy, garlicky, buttery crab flesh. Oh, look at that. Drizzle it all over the flesh. Wow. This is the best crab you'll ever eat right here in Mumbai. That chunk of flesh is unreal. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is perfection. Wow. Pure lobster flesh in a coconut in chili, chili and uh, yes. masala Korean spices. Spicy Indian masala. Mmm. And you can just take that upam, that apam. Oh and pure lobster flesh in there. Curry leaves, masala, coconut. Oh. Mmm. Oh. oh. That coconut, that beautiful chili. It's smooth, it's not too spicy. It's just a perfect mixture of creamy, spicy, juicy, and the lobster flesh is so juicy. Wrapped around this spongy rice cake. Oh, that is perfect. This is definitely one of the best seafood meals you'll ever eat. And you'll crave it for a long time after you're gone. Absolutely unforgettable. And after enjoying the rest of that beautiful crab, we made our way out to the famous Muhammad Ali Road to find a special dessert only available during Ramadan. Awesome guys, next up, we are gonna be visiting Muhammad Ali Road just up ahead. This is the epicenter of halal street food during the Ramadan season in Mumbai. And we came here for this. Let's check it out. Look at that. Wow. We specifically came here to find a famous malpua to finish off the day. A huge and heavy egg and flour pancake loaded with tons of condensed milk that's impossible to miss. Wow, look what we got here, guys. Malpua. Look at this. Malpua. Oh, this is malpua. Look at this, guys. This is the ultimate dessert of Mumbai Ramadan season. Look at that. Oh. Incredible. And we're just loading up the eggs. So he is gonna make the malpua from scratch here. So we're loading up the eggs and tons of eggs. It's beautiful. That is amazing. Oh, and then just flip it over. Oh yeah, and then just flipping them over in that deep oil, that dark oil. And then mixing the eggs, there's basically a flour batter. Wow, amazing. 
<laughs> oh yes. What a unique street food only during Ramadan. Just look at that. Just look at how many we've got here. And they are brown and crispy and full of that deep oil, that dark oil, full of ghee and flavor. And throw them right into the Malpua pile. And they're just so full of oil. And he's gonna throw them over. Wow! This is the best street food scene I've ever witnessed because the flavors coming from this Malpua are just incredible. Oh, one after another one after another here and look at the sizzle listen to that and we're just loading them up he's putting a bit of pistachio and other nuts and then there's the batter beautiful that is incredibly saturated chop it up we're gonna get the special version. Load it up with condensed milk. Thank you. Shukriyat. Oh, pista badam. Pista badam. Shukriyat. Amazing. We got the pista badam loaded up. Look, there's almonds, cashews, pistachios. Beautiful. Look at this, guys. Right out of the pit, covered in sweet condensed milk and the pista badam, cashews, almonds, pistachios, oh yes. Mm. Oh, it's so sweet and fluffy. It almost tastes kind of like a cinnamony, saffrony banana. Yeah. Oh yeah. It has been an absolutely delicious day in Mumbai. So much street food. This is a place you definitely have to visit. And thank you so much for watching.